What's going on there guys? Good evening, it's your Earthmaster here on this Monday, August 8th, 2022 date. It is about 7.40 p.m. West Coast time here. Uh, still got the California Earthquake Watch kicking up due to some uh, activity within the past few hours here along the West Coast. Latest quake, a 2.8 earthquake here on the Earthquake 3D globe. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the USGS map real quick and see what we got going on. A lot of activity, if you notice here, throughout this area of the Pacific Northwest. Now, this is a very sensitive area because it's been building up quite a bit of strain for a little while. That's a Cascadia subduction zone up here where all this activity is kind of kicking up just to the west here. Although, these are the plates that are being shoved underneath the North American region. So, definitely... Uh, one in the same for that matter just because we don't see any activity specifically here on the Cascadia itself doesn't mean that this area is not under a lot of strain so we got all this activity kicking up here back kind of like a back um back pressure here from about the Gorda plate up here to the Explorer plate where we've seen a 4.6 kicking off earlier this afternoon so tremor map, I got a little, little bit of hiccups tonight. All of a sudden, as soon as I hit that record button, hopefully this will go away. Tremor map tonight is pretty enhanced. 294 epicenters of tremor along a pretty uh, wide swath here throughout this area of the Cascadia. And there's no doubt that could be uh, the resulting effect here of some regional pressure throughout this whole area of the Pacific Northwest. It's a pretty good number. Most of it uh, up there outside of Seattle. Uh, a little bit here into southern Oregon, it looks like, uh, right around the Medford area. Again, this is not earthquake activity, but tremor vibrational frequencies uh, as the plate is being shoved underneath the North American plate. The Juan de Fuca plate being shoved eastward and down dip into this region. So you got to remember what's going on down there, right? We're getting some uh, vibrational shoving pre uh, and frequency, uh, uh, vibrational frequencies being picked up, so to speak, because that's technically what they are. What's going on upstream? So if we're not looking at a release of pressure up here uh, along the Cascadia, it looks like we're back building some pressure much further off, off to the west. So I, I believe that's what we're seeing here with this activity up north. All the way down here to the southern end of the uh, uh, Juan de Fuca plate. In this, in this matter, the Gorda plate. Three separate micro plates here. All being shoved to the east. All right. Uh, also, Northern California seeing some activity ramping up here. Remember this spot? This is the Antelope Valley area. We haven't seen too much activity here within the last couple weeks. It all kind of kicked off earlier this afternoon with a 4.5. It's a pretty good shaker out there, shaking things up around the uh, California-Nevada border. Since then, we've seen uh, quite a few twos and some threes in the mix there as well. Let's bring up the all magnitude, see what we got for the uh, uh, movement. It looks like about 31 earthquakes or so um, in this area so far. It looks like, uh, again, there wasn't a whole lot of activity prior to this 4.5 today. But uh, things definitely ramping up right now in the Antelope Valley area. Again, this region seen, this is the same map here, Antelope Valley area. This this area seen a 6.0 earthquake last year. Um, I remember, I think I remember feeling this one here up in Chico area. Uh, it is a little distance, but a 6.0, yeah, I, th I think I remember feeling that. Uh, as a matter of fact, that kind of made my earthquake rock above my head right now, kind of swing back and forth just a little bit, but uh, very noticeable from that quake. And uh, looks like since then, this is 5.0 and above, there's only been uh, that 6.0 and a 5.0 that same day, it looks like, back in 2021 since then. Uh, I did want to bring up a little broader scale here along the West Coast for 5.0 earthquake activity and above. We haven't seen a lot along the San Andreas Fault, right? And that's a major plate boundary if you really think about it. Uh, most of the activity has been well inland away from this plate boundary. So uh, we got to eventually see activity kind of returning to the plate boundary. 
uh, in terms of at least uh, 5.0 and above. I remember this earthquake swarm here last year. Right around, um, let's see, we had a couple of earthquakes back in March 2020, and then a couple other earthquakes, including a 6.2 back in December 2021. Now that one was well inland. We had quite a significant swarm here uh, in this area, well inland and down dip into the Cascadia subduction zone. That's definitely a Cascadia subduction zone uh, earthquake with that depth there at 27 kilometers. But uh, overall, uh, not a whole lot along this plate boundary, and that's kind of got me a little concerned. Down south here, we did see a 5.3 back in June 2021. Not on the San Andreas Fault, but on the Brawley Seismic Zone. So um, I think we're overdue. Wouldn't you say? Not only for just a 5.0, uh, but something much larger along the west coast. So this area definitely got to watch pretty closely, folks. Uh, of course, back in Nevada, we've seen that earthquake activity as well. Uh, looking at the rest of the regional view, um, aside from that uh, four-pointer that kicked up there, 4.5 in the Walker area, Antelope Valley region, Northern California, pretty spotty. Not a whole lot of activity occurring north of Sacramento. Uh, we do have some activity out here around the geyser area. Of course, there's no geysers out here. That's just a phrase. No, no natural geysers, that is. This is the uh, Clear Lake Volcanic Field and the hydrothermal operations ongoing out here around the Cobb Mountain region. Looks like stirring up a little earthquake activity today with a 2.4 within the last hour. Down south, Long Valley Super Volcano, not a whole lot. Ridgecrest area, not a whole lot as well. So I want to kind of point this out here. A lot of times we see movement work their way north from north to south. And this latest activity here that we're seeing here on the map is right around the Antelope Valley area. So if we look at that trend, it's very possible that we could see some further activity on the large scale movement south of this line here where we've seen that 4.5 uh, kick up um, earlier today around the Antelope Valley area because things are quiet down here. Look at that. Yes, there is a little activity around the San Andreas Fault, the creeping section. But the Ridgecrest area, that is very spotty. Not a whole lot going on there. Same for Southern California as well. Got to watch that pretty closely. Again, a lot of times though, we've seen movement work their way up around the Baja California area, northward along the plate. So it's, it's uh, it, it, I guess it all depends. There's no really set way, but today the trend is from north to south. So just pay attention here to the Southern California region with that earthquake uh, movement. Up into the Pacific Northwest, aside from the area west here out in the Pacific, a little spotty activity throughout Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens area, a little activity up around Victoria as well. Uh, a little bit of movement around Yellowstone. We'll check that, that out here in just a second on their map. Uh, and some spotty activity throughout western Texas, Oklahoma, and the New Madrid zone. Look at that. we got about three earthquakes today in the last 24 hours. One of those pretty deep. They do trigger. I think, I think if we were to see a bigger earthquake here, we would look at the deep earthquakes first. And if they're getting bigger down deep, that would be a sign of something possibly getting ready to brew upstream far as the uh, New Madrid zone goes. 1.7 deep earthquakes. Kind of triggered a couple uh, more larger quakes upstream up towards the surface there with a 2.1 and a 1.9 all within the new madrid seismic zone there puerto rico activity at least within the last hour calming down a little bit it looks like a 2.2 the last earthquake here in this major swarm of activity got about 50 earthquakes or so around the puerto rico area Still watching that region pretty closely for some further movement uh, down into the Peru Chile Trench. A couple earthquakes earlier and late last night, but overall seismic activity uh, for the most part 4.0 and above non existent within the last few hours or so. Into the Alaska region, things very minimal up here as well. Not a whole lot of activity. 
And the Western Pacific, notice this area here, very quiet. We're getting that, uh, oh, that teeter-totter effect, right? I say that almost every update because it's kind of true. Uh, West Coast activity, areas around Baja, California, the Cocos Plate, the Nazca Plate, South America region, they all kind of damper the activity, kind of relieving some strain out here along the Western Pacific Ring of Fire. And that rings true today. Uh, and tonight, with no activity being recorded here, as far as 4.0 and above uh, throughout the Western Pacific Ring of Fire. A little activity here. Um, although, if you look at the timestamps here, some of those are from earlier this afternoon and late last night. So no further renewed movement here across the Western Pacific Plate. That means areas here, uh, specifically North American and the Pacific Plate air, uh, interaction here can draw pretty much a big X here across this region for uh, possible some larger scale movement. Again, uh, not a whole lot going on throughout the Mediterranean or the Middle East. One earthquake from earlier this morning in the South Sandwich Trench area. But overall, things uh, pretty minimal down in that area. So uh, North American plate, got to watch out pretty closely here, folks, and see how that plays out. Um, again, this is a 5.0 and above since about, uh, I think I set this last couple years or so. And uh, there just really hasn't been nothing kicking up here along this area of the plate boundary. Got to eventually happen, right? Definitely. Again, there's the uh, trimmer map from tonight. Pretty good uptick, about 294. 294 earthquakes or so. Um, in this region and um, super fans I, I do want to bring this up here real quick I like to mention these super fans here uh, about every uh, I don't know on the weekend or heck we'll even do it on a Monday right we like to show our members a little bit of appreciation here the latest member today Betty Kelly will go down the list here real quick a purple, uh, purple bullet Nancy Kalaski, Maria Park, we've got John D, uh, Debash Mode, Joel Kuzowski, Alicia Stanford, uh, Mike Delaney, Melanie Fisher, Catherine Decker, Pamela C, Ray A, Hope and Feathers, Robert Kuzowski, Robert uh, V, the Fly Lady, Jay Fuentes, 347, Albert Sanchez Jr., some of our older members here, Dolores V. All those folks are channel members and they are automatically entered into monthly drawings. This month of August, we're giving away a $40 Amazon gift card. So notice the membership fan is not that big right now. But uh, that increases the odds if you want to be a member here on this channel of winning monthly prizes. So make sure you get in be a member of this channel in order to win uh, some some special prizes and get some perks and uh, extra emojis and icons and whatnot special videos as well outside of the typical earthquake uh, videos let's see what else do we have here tonight um, Yellowstone National Park this this double check this out real quick here double check in this uh, looks like earlier of course we had that 2.8 kick up there over the last few hours a couple small earthquakes within uh, since oh, since about early afternoon so nothing like the 2.8 these are very small uh, so no major swarms kicking up here around Yellowstone National Park currently uh, let's see space weather activity we will check this out here real quick and see what's going on with the solar ham Dot net website uh, these guys are still showing a g2 class storm that's probably going to expire probably did already they just haven't updated it we are kicking up back around the kp index of four we could see this get elevated to a g1 class storm notice the uh, auroras they're kicking up a little bit at the higher latitudes nothing like what we've seen last night where uh, pennsylvania the dakotas and uh, i think portions of montana see some activity as well in the northern tier states but uh uh, either way, a little bit of heightened activity. No solar flares to report for now, and things look very minimal in that department. Have a good night, folks. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Again, 
if you want to be entered into some monthly drawings each month for some giveaways, uh, and I think it's well worth it. The odds are probably in your favor with the small drawing, um, uh, small amount of people we have in our drawing right now. So get in there while you can. Hawaii is seeing a little bit of activity here on the globe. Nothing major, though. We haven't seen any major uptick around the Big Island for now. Obviously, here on the globe, Puerto Rico, Caribbean Plate, Middle America Trench, and the West Coast all looking like they're uh, pretty active tonight. Stay safe, everyone. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.